What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the most important basics um, of scaling Facebook ads, scaling Instagram ads, and really damn near any social media platform ad. It's all about your audiences. It's all about tracking the links, um, categorizing them, and putting them in audiences. Um, and it's all it's and it's all about uh, creating audiences around your videos as well. So your Facebook video. That's why you have to be running ads, you guys. You have to be running ads. Because if you're just putting out video content, right? A lot of you guys aren't even putting out video content. Like a lot of you guys will post images and you know things of that nature. But but how many of you are, how many of you are actually putting out bi uh, business related video content on social media? If you guys are doing that organically, chances are you're doing. If you're doing it for sure, you're doing it organically. Um, the, the the downfall of that is that as you just post organically, you guys, yes, okay, it, may, it might have came up in my news feed. Okay, yes, I may have watched it, whatever it may have been on. If, if you're a real estate agent or, or you're educating people on credit or, 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 or loans, whatever you may be doing for your business, right? As people watch your stuff out there in, in social media land, in social media world, right, um, you got to be able to track that, man. And you can only do that when you're running an ad. So if I'm putting a few bucks behind the video, Facebook's going to allow me to create custom audiences, custom audiences of those who are watching my video and or the custom audiences of those who are clicking on my links, right? So if you click on my ad and I'm bringing you over to a landing page, a website, a web page, I'm tracking that, right? So I'm going to know that you... I'm going to know that you landed there. I'm going to know that you didn't land on the other page. I'm going to know that you didn't opt in. I'm going to know that you didn't purchase, right? Because, because I'm going to set all this stuff up. And this is what you want to be doing, you guys. So 2023 and beyond, if you're still running Facebook ads, trying to crack the code on, on, on any type of ad, it's damn near all the same. I happen to just be in the Facebook ad space since 2016. I've uh, been teaching real estate agents and, and local business owners really how to really dominate their local area. That That's what it's, what it's all about. And, and today in this video, I'm going to show you the basics where it all starts, right? Tracking those who watch your video. So that's why as you're in your newsfeed, as you're in your freaking newsfeed, scroll through, scroll through, scroll through Facebook, Instagram. It's all the same. Every platform, it's all, LinkedIn. It's all the same, dude. As you scroll through, see a video. And if it's a sponsored video, it's a, if it's an actual ad, IG, Facebook, that advertiser, that marketer, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and, and, and say, that they know what they're doing and they have you in an audience. So if you sit there, scroll through, scroll through, do you're watching this video, go back to Facebook real quick, scroll through, scroll through, stop on that video ad, sit there for, for a few seconds, whether it's three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, whether you sit there and watch that video for 15 seconds, that's tracked. That's on the back end as an advertiser. That's what we track and that's what we set up as custom audiences. So when you can when you can retarget, that's what the branding effect is all about. It's just retargeting people who are engaging with your stuff. You clicked on my stuff. That's why you're seeing my next ad. You watched my previous previous video on my business. Um, and 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 that's why you're seeing this next ad. I'm retargeting. That's all it's about. You guys is retargeting. So you gonna you want to do this before you start running Facebook ads. Now you can create audiences. I'm gonna show you all the different sources that Facebook allows you to, to create audiences around, but for sure the lead form as well. You could do the lead form as well, which I'll, I'll show you. But I mainly focus on on video, video retargeting, and 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 also um, website retargeting, which we're gonna get into today. So let's let's get started. So here is. Here's one page right here, you guys, um, that I'm going to be sending a lot of traffic to. So as as you're catching this video, 2023 and beyond, I'm going to be sending a lot of traffic to this page. Um, some of you guys know my story. Some of you may not. But I've been, first of all, I've been in marketing forever and a day, right? Forever and a day, 19 years old, 20 years old, getting into online marketing. The internet was barely starting to scale. We had we had to put a CD-ROM in the disk of a, of, a, of, a, of a desktop, the CD-ROM, right? We had to take the freaking wire, plug it into the wall just to connect to the internet. We had to connect it to the phone line, the computer to the phone line, your freaking wall at home, no mobile, right? So I came into the internet, stumbled college student at that time. And I'm, and, and for whatever reason, I gravitated to the marketing side of it all. What, what it took to capture a lead, how much did leads cost? Like, could I really market anything? And someone will inquire on the internet, right? It was new, dude. It was freaking new at that time, early, late nineties, yeah, late nineties, late nine, late nineties, um, early, 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 early two thousands, right? Um, but then, but then I, I, I jump into, but ten years later, twenty ten, I jump into mortgages, right here in San Diego. Been here forever and a day. Um, license, got my mortgage license. One of my best friends took me under his wings in twenty ten. I'll never forget. Um, 
shout out to my boy Mady. He brought me into the mortgage business in 2010, right? And I and I rode that wave with him from 2010 to 2015, right? And then and then that was that was pretty much my run. My 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 run was 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 a five year blitz, and 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 I was out. It really wasn't my thing at that point. Um, um, and it was, it was for sure an, an experience and, and I learned a ton about the real estate side of, of everything. Right. So, so fast forward 2016, I leave mortgages and I start consulting real estate agents on social media marketing. And I didn't know much at that time. I didn't know how to run an ad even at that time. Um, but I knew it was, I, I knew it was, it was, it was scaling. I knew that Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, I knew, I knew that these platforms were super, super important to the, to, to the entrepreneur. Like I knew that right for the networking purposes, the business purposes, like all the above, right. I knew that. So I'm like, dude, what if I can start learning this stuff and I could just start teaching people, I could start teaching, you know, and, 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 and for whatever reason, also, I stumbled into real estate agents. I'm like, dude, let me go connect with them because I come from the mortgage business, right? So I'm like, maybe I can reach out to agents and I can maybe relate to them and, and get a few of them as clients. And I can maybe do some social media work and, 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 and do some Facebook advertising. That was 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Is when I is when I is when I started started really learning how to put together a coaching program, how to really take all of these products and services that I'm that I'm doing, and 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 how do I create a program around it? How do I create a product around it, a service, right? How do I create a coaching program, a course around it? So in 2020, I I I, I invested in myself, invested in programs, invested in coaches myself. Right. I started learning that. Started learning that in 2020. Well, as all you guys know, in 2020, we all the world took a shit, right? And 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 mayhem started. Um, um, all around this world 2020, right? So so that was that was that was the beginning of that. But I was on this whole journey of learning how to how to create a co coaching program. So damn, as the world took a break, right? That was the beginning of COVID and 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 and, and all that mess from March 2020 and on. That's when I was just balls to the wall, blinders on, going through one of my coaches that I hired at that time, spent five grand to learn Facebook ads, spent five grand to learn how to put together a coaching program around Facebook ads, right? And that was that was 2020. So from 2020 all the way to, to today, 2023, that's what I do. I literally coach one-on-one, -on -one. but that's, that, 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 that's kind of freaking hit the fan. Like I, I, I'm damn near burnt out on, on the one-on-one. -on -one, right. But, but I charge a premium and I'm able to do it and I'm, and I, and I, and I'm really damn good at it. And I love the one-on-one -on -one for whatever reason. Um, but moving forward, moving forward, 2023, this is what I'm going to be launching you guys. So if you're catching this video, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on, 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 on YouTube, I'll put a link to this. This is going to be a simple, simple case study, a simple video, a simple web class. It's not going to be nothing crazy professional. I'm going to just keep it real. And I'm going to go over the five steps that I've been teaching real estate agents since 2016. And what I started teaching them and what I still teach them today, today is these five basic steps when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising, five stupid, simple steps that every single one of them miss. But then as I got really good at it, 2020, 2021, 2022, I also realized that the same five steps that I teach are for any business. Like 100% of you guys miss these five steps, right? And, and, and that's what I've been teaching. That's what I've been, I've been coaching. That's what I've been really pouring into clients since 2016. So, so now I'm getting ready to just take all of that knowledge and dump it into a course and actually just start running ads to my to my course um because some of you guys know some of you guys may not but i just got my license i just got i just became a california real estate agent i just got licensed i passed the exam in april um april 6 to be exact um and and i'm just super fired up about that side of it all so i'll keep you posted on that but for now it's still digital marketing and facebook advertising and really pouring into the local realtor and the, and, the, and the local business owner so whether you're a realtor or not, these five steps, man, apply. These five steps apply to anybody who's building a, building a local business and they're and 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 they're relying on not relying on social media, but they're dependent on they're not even dependent. That's not even the word. They just leverage it. They use it. They 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 post. And they, and 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 here's the crazy part is that all of us that have some type of business, I don't care what you have a Shopify store, you're an affiliate marketer, you're a freaking influencer, whatever, dude. You're a real estate agent, credit repair specialist, you're a freaking lender, whatever, a landscaper, a plumber, whatever. God knows that you're trying to build something on social media. You got your little LinkedIn going. You got your IG popping off. You got you think you're cool because you're shaking that 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 ass on TikTok. It's like, dude, like 
we're posting, right? That's what we're trying to do. We're posting, trying to build an audience. But it's like, dude, the thousands of people that end up following us organically don't live in our local area. That's why my whole thing became the local business owner. If you're a local realtor, if you're a local business owner, these five steps, man, you got to be you got to be running ads. You got to be running ads and you got to start tracking all of this back end. So as people land here, boom, that link. As they land here, boom, that link. As they land here, boom, that link, right? We need to set these up as custom audiences. As as they watch, as they watch, whether it's a whether it's a few seconds or whether it's um it is um let's go to videos or whether it's 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 a it's a percentage you got to also start tracking the viewers now these are all videos that i that i haven't even ran ads on like i haven't ran this is just basic i don't even post over here but but every now and then i got to put something up if you can see here on my youtube channel if you if you're depending on where you're catching this on my youtube channel i got hundreds of videos all of my blood sweat and tear when it comes to video creation or just recording the damn thing has been putting it on YouTube. So 2020, that was another thing that I did. So not only did I, did I hire an expensive ass coach, which, which was worth every penny taught me exactly what I teach today, right? 2020. But I also went all in on YouTube as well and just started dumping all of my energy. If I'm going to record a video and if, and if YouTube's going to pay me something for it, even if it's not even a big check, dude, they're paying me for it. Like a residual every month, a few hundred every month, which will turn into a few thousand. It's like, dude, no other platform was doing that at that time. And that's why there's so many people on YouTube, right? Because everyone has a little channel they're trying to pop off because any little stream of income is freaking a big deal, dude, right? So so that's where everything went. But now I'm going to start running ads on these videos over here on Facebook specifically. And that's why we're over here. So whether whether it's whether it's someone watching um, um, a few seconds of the video, you guys, or a, free, or, or, or a percentage, you want to start doing that as well. You want to start doing that as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. What you want to make sure that you have set up first, you guys, is your is your business manager. So what you really want to do to really, really start you from the beginning is make sure that you have your, your business.facebook.com. I think that's. I think that's I think that that might be it. business.facebook.com. Um, yeah, it's going to take me straight into mine. But let me see if I can go incognito. Let me see if I can go incognito. Let me share this again. So business.facebook.com. It should take me to, yeah, see, perfect. So so this is where you guys really want to go. Yeah, log into your Facebook. Make sure you're logged into your Facebook for sure, right? Make sure you're logged into your Facebook, um, logged in, right? Everything's good. And then and then just simply um what you yeah, just simply open up another tab and go to go to business.facebook.com. This is where you really want to start because because you want to set up your Facebook business manager where you want to create an account. Okay, so um yeah, and then and then as you create one, then you can connect the Instagram to it. But that's what you want to do. You want to create an account. That's what you want to do. Okay, and that will that will allow you to set up your your um your business manager. And then, and then you'll have you'll have the ability to create these custom audiences. Okay, so now once we're over here, once we set up our business manager, you can just click on the three lines, and you're gonna go to audiences. That's how I got here, right? So, so um, depending on your ad account, right? There's different accounts, but but I'm gonna just keep it simple with this one. And here, create a custom audience right here. So now, you guys, all we want to do. These are the different sources. So you can, so that's what I'm talking about, website. Today, I'm going to show you website. Today, I'll show you website and video. We're going to do website and video because this is stuff that I was already doing. If you just catch any of these videos, you guys, hang around, right? If you're not going to subscribe, at least give your boy some love and give me a freaking thumbs up. No one will even know, right? Just freaking thumb me. Thumb me, dude. Freaking just thumb me. Um, because, because, because really, it's all about, it's all about just keeping it this stupid simple around website and video. That's really it, man. So so on this channel, you guys, I have hundreds of videos of just day in the life. That's what I was trying to say is that here I was already doing this stuff anyways. So I just thought I'd document it for you. That's all I'm really doing here. This is like real day in the life crap that I that I do either for myself or for my clients. It's these basics, right? The basics that need to be set up. You're a business manager. You're freaking custom audiences. Let's get to it. So, so these are all the different sources that you could create custom audiences around for sure. But you got to know your business. And again, a lot of my clients are local business owners. So, so we we tend to just focus on website, video, and lead form. That's it, really, right? You don't really need any of these other ones. Like if I was a local business owner, and 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 let's say for example, I'm a I'm, I'm yeah I'm a local business owner, and I got an Instagram account, and I got twelve thousand people that follow me on Instagram. I'm a local business owner. 
I don't know if I'd really create an audience around my Instagram account, around followers or people who engage, because as I run my ads for 10% off, you know, the next time they come in, it's like, dude, people from all over the country are going to be seeing that. And, 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 and although, yeah, they follow my page, although they like my posts, they're in Kentucky, I'm in California. That's, that would be a, an ad that I run and I'd blow my freaking money. Like, like, so you don't want to, you don't really want to do that. That's why I'm saying website and video is all you really want to do. You guys, you can crush it with just those two and then customer lists for sure. Customer lists for sure. But really we'll focus here on, on these two. So right now we're going to do website right now. We're going to do website. Now here's what you want to do. Make sure this green dot, this is your, the source, the pixel. Um, and then events, we're going to go down to specific. We want people who visited specific pages. So trip out. I'm going to put this link in the description as you guys click on it. As you click on it, you're now going to be in this audience, right? So to tell you the truth, yeah, do I want an opt-in? For sure. Do I want someone to come here, click the button, and freaking give up their name and email and watch my damn web class? For sure. For sure. But even if you don't, even if you don't, you're going to see my next ad. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to retarget all those who land here but never opted in. And this is how you do it. We grab the first link. So this is my landing page, right? This is my, my basic landing page. All real real clients. Shout out to all my clients. I freaking love my clients. Um, the things they write about me and, and the work we do, it's freaking amazing. A lot of real estate agents. These are all real estate agents, right? So so if you're a real estate agent, man, reach out to me. Let me help you. Let me help you put all this stuff together. And, and again, this applies to any small business owner, but, but really to that local realtor. Um, so here's what happens. Here's what happens. Look, people land here. They land here, so I'm going to copy the domain. I don't need the www or the HTTPS. I'm going to simply copy, copy, copy the domain, copy that, and then I'm going to come over here. Retention. I'm going to put um, I'm going to leave it at thirty. If you've landed on my page in the past thirty days, you're gonna you're gonna continue to see my ads. Um, thirty days is enough. Is enough. I'm going to paste in that link just like that. I'm going to paste in that link. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go exclude, exclude. This is going to be a, an audience specifically to those who landed and landed only. They never opted in. They never landed on this page, right? They never landed on that page. So I'm going to come down here. There's the green dot. Here's the events specific. I'm going to go on this one. I'm going to go 180. You can max out 180. Because because even if you landed it because if you landed on my page in the last forty days then 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 yeah you don't need to be in this audience so so it's one eighty so I'm gonna paste in the web class page that's the web class that this is the web class page right this is the replay the replay page so they never landed on this one either they never landed on the replay page either so let's copy that link we're gonna paste that in and for sure for sure. For sure, they never landed. They never landed on the order complete page, right? They never landed on this page. That's a custom audience, you guys. So as you run traffic, as you run ads to your freaking pages, man, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, this is basics. Like, I literally found my niche in teaching people the basics. I realized that every real estate agent on the planet, every real estate agent on the planet misses these basic steps. And then I also realized from all the love I get on YouTube, many, many of my clients came from YouTube, just organic this YouTube, even though I, even though I don't have the biggest channel, even though I don't have the sickest thumbnails, even though I don't even know what the hell I'm doing in the damn description and keywords, dude, people still manage to find me. So trip it on that, dude. You guys can all do this too. Like you don't need to be a big influencer, dude. No, you don't. Like, no, you don't need millions of people following you. No, you don't. Like you don't. That's a freaking myth. Um, I, I, I truly believe it, dude. Only because the amount of, you know, blessings that come my way just from YouTube, you know, and, and I'm no one. I'm no one big at all, right? But but I know a lot of you guys have followed me for years now, right? I got hundreds of videos over here, dude. And, and it's and it's these basics. It's these basics. So stick around, dude. Again, give me a like if you're not going to subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. All right. So so again, they never landed on these pages, you guys. And I'm going to take this again up to 180. I'm going to max that one out. Keep this one at 30 at the top. And and that's it. And I'm going to name this. This is going to be this is going to be um 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 page visitors, and then in parentheses only. Okay. They are they are page visitors 
only. They never landed on these other pages. Therefore, they never opted in and they for sure never order complete. They never purchased. Okay, so I'm going to create that audience right there. Hit the blue button and boom, there is our custom audience. That will be an audience, you guys, that I will retarget, 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 retarget from this point on. That's how you do custom audiences. Now, another custom audience that you for sure, for sure, website one that you for sure want to do, let's do this again, custom audience. And then now I want the web class. Those that actually came to the landing page, clicked the blue button, opted in and landed on this page. This is what I want now too. Okay. So this is going to be, this is going to be, let's copy this. My freaking mouse. My mouse is, is is not working anymore, but it's okay. So, okay. So there's that, there's that. Um, We're going to come down to specific. And we're going to do, we're going to do this one. This one's going to be 30 days as well. This one's going to be 30 days as well. So they opted in, they opted in, you know what? And I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 14 days. I'm going to do, because you opted in, you're in this audience. You registered for my web class yesterday, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, right? You kind of want to keep that audience fresh. Like typically it'd be seven days. I know my mentor would, would create audiences around, around seven days. You just, you just opted in to watch my web class. And now for the next seven days, you're going to freaking continue to see this one specific ad, right? Though, because other people that, that have recently just watched your web class. So maybe you have a countdown. Maybe you can create urgency, right? Hey guys, this is David. I noticed you, wa you watched my web class three days ago. And for whatever reason you haven't purchased, let me tell you why you're going to want to purchase right away before this promotion ends. Click here to, to complete your, your purchase. That would be a very specific ad going to a very specific group of people who literally are within a very specific day um, time frame, right? And and so 14, 14, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go down lower. I'm gonna go down lower. Seven days. Seven days this this audience would get retargeted. Um uh, let's go 10 days. Let's go 10 days. Let's go 10 days. Okay. So there are people who landed on the web class. They registered, right? They registered, they registered. They got into that web class 10 days ago, right? Um, exclude specific web pages, 180. And this is going to be the audience of the order complete. So they registered, right? They registered. They came to the landing page. They opted in. They registered but they did not purchase because they never landed on the order complete page, right? That's what we're doing here. So that link goes in right there, order complete. So this right here is, 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 is a great audience, 10 days. So within the past 10 days, you guys talk to these people, right? Talk to them. They registered, they watched your web class, but they haven't purchased Talk to them. Put out a freaking a, a, a kick ass ad on that retargeting, and 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 you got these people that are, that that are fresh. They just watched your web class t within the past ten days, right? Whether you got to drop your pants and give them a discount. Hey guys, this is David. Hey, I noticed you watched our, my my web class um a few days ago, and for whatever reason you didn't purchase. Whether it's the money, whatever, blah blah blah. Hey, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to drop my pants and I'm going to give you a freaking huge discount. I'm going to drop my pants and give you a huge discount. If you check out now and put the code huge discount, I'm going to take 25% off of this order. So make sure you click now and make sure you check out before the promotion ends. Click here. That would be a very specific ad going to a very specific group of people, you guys. So, so here, I'm going to name this one. Um, they never order complete. They didn't purchase. Audience name is going to be... Um, 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 registrants, I said blueprint web class registrants, registrants. Okay. And then here I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put 10 days. I'm going to put 10 days, 10 days. Okay. Perfect. So, so web class registrants, um, 10 days, 10 days, 10 days, um, have not purchased. Have not purchased. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. 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 10 days have not purchased. Great audience. Bam. And then let's do this one last website one, you guys, real quick. So website, we're going to go website again. Now what we want is we want 180, 180, 180, and then we want the order complete. So this audience right here, 
this is super, super important, you guys. Um, order complete. Go ahead and paste that one in right there. And this is going to be And we're going to name this one, um, um, we'll just name it um, students. I would say purchasers, you know, they purchased the product. That's what, that's what, that's what happened. But I'm going to just put students. I'm going to put students. Okay. So bam. And, and that audience, you guys done that audience is so important because as you're running a campaign, like let's say you're a real estate agent and you're 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 promoting a seller guide or you're promoting a buyer guide or you have a a, a coffee res restaurant and a coffee shop and you're running an ad giving away a free coupon on a bagel, right? Your bagel on us, your first bagel on us. Come in here and redeem this coupon within the next seven days. Blah blah blah, right? So so as people opt in and download your offer, your free download, your web class, your coupon, whatever you're giving away, that's the thing. You got to be giving away something of value upfront for free in exchange for someone's information. That's the typical ad. That's advertising 101. Like you got to get people's attention somehow, some way and, and online, um, especially through through paid advertising. It, it comes down to a freebie. People are inquiring. People are interested. You're getting someone to raise their hand because you're giving away something for free. And 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 typically that's that's something free in the form of a PDF, in the form of a, of, a, of a web class, in the form of a of a of a, of a training video. Um in the form of a discount for for off of off of purchasing something, right? It's always some kind of offer. That's that's what it is, you guys. So you got to get you got to get your offer down. You got to get your offer down, and then and then you simply create these audiences. So again, this audience of students that's so important because as I start to get people who purchased, right, and even as I get people to 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 register, right, web class registrants, as I get those people to to register. What I'm going to be doing as I continue to run ads for top of funnel, as I continue to run ads to the web page visitors, right? I continue to run ads to my landing page. The moment I start getting activity, students start to purchase or people start to register for the web class, right? That's when I'll start excluding these two bottom audiences or actually the two top audiences. That's when I'll start excluding, and this is how you do it. So look, it's the students and the web class who I would start excluding from seeing future ads. Because again, they already opted in. They already purchased and or purchased, right? So they don't need to keep seeing your ads. So that's why you got to do this. You want to you be able to, to exclude them so you're not blowing money and, and budget and, and just burning money, right? You want to be able to, you, you want to make sure you're targeting the right, most, the most relevant, the most relevant audiences. So, so as you come in, right? As you come in, manual leads campaign, as you come in, We'll come to this, the first step, which is which is your campaign level. And then if you're in any of these categories, make sure you choose it, right? I work with a ton of real estate agents. It's housing for you guys, right? Housing. Um, and then and then leave all as is. Don't touch anything right here. Next. It's on the second step, the ad set level, right? Where you're telling Facebook, yeah, driving the we're gonna be driving the the, the traffic to a website, our landing page, and then down here will be your custom conversion. If you guys don't know how to set up a custom conversion, um, that video is in the description. Watch that. That that this right here is super, super important. Your custom conversion event, your conversion event, right? So, so right here though, for the sake of this video, and then we'll end it here. This is the audiences. So now I can click inside this box and boom there are my audiences so if i was on if i was on ad number number three four five six i'd be retargeting the page visitors i'd also i'd also let's go to it real quick um 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 um, um let's just i'll just come from over here i'll also be retargeting my viewers so let's go back to the audiences my my viewers, people that are watching, watching my videos. Let's go to the custom audience on the video and then we'll end it right here. So so look, but but back to the ad real quick, back to the ad. This is where I would include my web page visitors, right? And then I'll also include everyone who's ever watched X amount of any of my videos. So again, that's why as you're putting out video content, that's what I was trying to say in the very beginning of this video, you guys, stop putting it out organically. Start running ads because when you start to run the ad, you can capture those who actually engage, who actually sit there and watch for X amount. And that's a warm audience. That's someone you want to get back in front of, right? Why do you post to me that I, that live across the country who don't, who don't care about your product and service? 
target your audience, you guys, target your audience, right? So, so here, look again in here, I would also include, um, I wouldn't include any of these. I'm going to exclude, but I would include the video. So now let's do a video. So now as we click on the blue button, come back over here, we're going to go video. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is hit the drop down. These are the different timestamps. So again, as you pull out your phone, you guys, and you scroll through and you see a freaking video ad, you'll see it. It says sponsored. Sit there and watch that ad. You're going to end up in that person's audience, either a three second, 10 second, 15 second, 25% audience right and 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 what's going to happen is that person is going to turn around on their very next ad which could be instantly or tomorrow or an hour later or next week whatever that person can launch that next ad instantly and retarget all those who watched at least 15 seconds of this last video that's amazing that's crazy that's how you build brand when you keep retargeting 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 right like like so what i'm going to do on this one 15 seconds 15 seconds. Anyone who watched in the past, I'll just put, I won't go 365. I'll go probably, I'll go probably 30 days. Anyone who watched, and then I'm going to choose videos and we're going to come down to that page, which is this one right here. And then if you're building one basic page, I'll just do any of these for the hell of it. None of these I ran ads on. So confirm, I'll, I'll leave 30 days and then I'll put, um, let's see what, what, here's what you really want to do let's do that again because i want to really really name it that was one basic page okay one basic page so you always want to get good at naming your videos right not really like the 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 text that too the the thumbnail or not the thumbnail but the the actual ad copy the text right for sure you want to get good at good at that but what i'm saying is on the back end over here like when, when i'm gonna show you right now so but i wanted to get the name of that one basic page that's what i'm gonna name it so i'm gonna check the box i'm gonna confirm and then I'm going to go audience name, one basic page, and I'm going to go 15 seconds, 15 seconds. And that's past 30 days. Perfect. That's fine. So create audience. So now you guys look done. That's what I want to do. I want to keep stacking my custom audiences around videos that I'm launching as ads. I want to start stacking audiences around different pages within my funnel. Right, you guys got to get rid of these fancy websites. You need a landing page. You need a simple landing page. Right. Um, to drive traffic to, to drive traffic to. So if you're in the real estate space, for example, if you're in the real estate space, driving traffic, stop posting fancy websites with all this information regarding, a, you know, 17 of your listings. Run an ad to one single page, like one single page. Shout out to Eric and Stacy. One, one single page, one single button, right? They click, they opt in. Boom, lead capture. You want to start tracking these links, you guys. You want to start tracking these links. So so you want to start building these audiences around, around website links, around videos. And then, again, as you come over here, so let's X this out and let's just come back into it real quick. As I come to the ad set level, now as I scroll down to the audiences again, now we can go, there's, that, there's the website visitors. If I check the box or click the box again, actually, it hasn't. Yeah, I have to let me let me refresh this. Let me refresh it. Now we'll be good. Okay, so now as I come in here, oh, did it did it delete it? Oh, here, I'll I'll just start from here. Okay, cool. So there's housing. Okay, cool. So now now I go next, and then now we come to the second level, the ad set level. There's website. As I scroll down, we're gonna come down to audiences, and let's get rid of this one real quick. Let's start from script from scratch. Um, custom audiences. I check the box. Now you'll see that video one. So dude, can you just imagine putting out one video ad, getting thousands and thousands of people in a specific area to watch it, to watch 15 seconds of your one minute video and then retarget them, do it again, ad number two, create that audience, retarget them, do it again, ad number three, create that audience, retarget them. So by the time you're on ad number five, you're retargeting everyone who's watched videos number one through four. So people continue to see you, you guys, and it's not in an in an in an annoying annoying way. It's not like you're freaking bar like barfing all over people. No, you're not. You're not. You're not freaking being aggressive. You're not being too hardcore. You're not being like overbearing. You're not being annoying at all, dude. You're bringing content. You're educating people. You know, and and and, and the way I teach is 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 one video every fifteen days. You're running one ad. You're running one video ad to your local area every fifteen days. That's it. Two videos a month. I can run two videos a month. I can teach people how to run two videos a month 
And those two videos a month actually running, targeting a local area, taking them to a landing page to capture the lead. That person will run laps around that other local business owner who is over here posting on all these damn platforms. Not all day, all day, every day, 17 times a day, right? Trying to build an audience, trying to build a brand. That's, so that's why it's like, it's not your fault. Like we're all business owners. We're all trying to build some type, type of audience. Hopefully you guys following this channel are, right? You're trying to build something, some type of following, right? How do you do it? You run a freaking ad. You target your, your area and you send them to a page where you can freaking get a name and email. Bottom line. That's the bottom line, dude. So it's not about all these thousands of followers, dude, on your platforms. If, if they're not your ideal client, then it doesn't matter. If you're a real estate agent and you got 3,700 friends on your personal Facebook page, you're a local real estate agent. These are all people that are on your page that don't even live in the area. So no wonder why when you post your open house, no one came from it, right? Yes, your uncle and aunt saw your post. Yes, your cousin shared it with their friends. Yes, yes, it can, it can viral that way. But that's a lot of work. When I can just run an ad and sit back and, and let, let calls come into me, right? So, so that's where I'm headed now, you guys, is that I've been coaching agents. I've been coaching small business owners on this stuff um, for, for, for damn near six years now. And now, now, now I'm just kind of easing back to just put everything in automation and, and run, run it to an actual training course, um, run it to a tr an actual training course. So, so those are your main audiences, you guys, that's where you would put them. So you would put them in right here, bam, I can target that audience. I can, I can target um, page visitors right there. And then again, I can have 15 engagement video, 15 seconds. I can have different websites that I want to track as well. So that, that that's retargeting them, right? So now I'm going to retarget them. But what I want to do, what I for sure, for sure want to do right away, the moment I start capturing leads from these ads is I want to exclude that audience. So now I'm going to exclude I'm going to click inside this box and now I want to exclude students. Let's say we already getting people to, we already got people to purchase. So so again, apply this to your business. It's all the same. You want to exclude those people. You also want to exclude the people who who actually registered. So if you've registered or if you purchased, then you're not seeing these ads, right? You're not seeing my my fresh new ad next 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 week, right? Two video ads Per, per month, you guys, it could be that basic. And, and, and as you're running ads, it's automation, it's leads coming in and depend on what, whether you're selling something or getting someone to schedule an appointment, those could be appointments on demand. And that's what I call my five-step blueprint, you guys. So I'll provide the link, reach out to me if you guys need help with any of this stuff. If you're a real estate agent looking to scale your business on, on social media, but specifically through Facebook advertising, shoot me a message. Let's connect. I'd love to pour my, my knowledge and my love into you guys and help you take your business to the next level. All right, guys. So subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Over now.